This is Kelly. So I'm making a wig, guys. I did a live video on Instagram and I was hoping I could just share it, but I'm still trying to figure out how to save my live videos on Instagram. So I said to carry my while and come here. <laughs> Alright, I wanted to show you guys how you can make a simple wig and what you need, okay? You can actually make your bundles into a wig and save that money that you're paying hairstylists, alright? So, one of my clients contacted me. She's going to Jamaica for her engagement party. And she wanted to have a second look, okay? And she wanted me to do this in 24 hours. So, I took up the plate. So, the hair that we're using today is Queen Hair from queenhair.com, okay? So, guys, the first thing that you need in making a wig is a wig mannequin, all right? There are different types of wig mannequin. I have another one that is, you know, a lot more great quality. This one is like $4.99 in the beauty supply store and about $1.99 on Amazon, okay? The next thing you need are hair pins. I couldn't find a pack of my hair pins for the life of me. So I decided to be creative. I decided to use toothpicks and I broke them up as my pins, okay? There's a ticker, it's called an L-shaped pin. So it has like a long head, thick, and then, you know, a long tip that you can insert and it just clips and holds it in place. I'm gonna show you guys, because I ordered one tonight. So when it comes, I'll show you guys. So you need a, um, a hair mannequin. You need pins, I'm using toothpick today. <laughs> You need a net, you need a breathable hair net, okay? And of course, you need your hair bundles. You need a frontal or closure. Whenever I'm doing a frontal wig, I'm gonna show you guys, okay? You definitely need wig clips. I ordered two packs of this, or I actually brought out two packs of this, but apparently they put only one in my bag. So I'm, I might get two more tomorrow, you know, I like to put like two at the back, I might get two more packs. So two at the back, two in front, or maybe one in front and two on the side, okay? So let's talk about the actual making of the wig, alright? I'm gonna show you guys what the inside of this wig looks like. So uh, this is just one bundle, I've only inserted one bundle or sewn one bundle. The next step is going to be for me to sew in the closure, okay? So this wig cap, it's very nice. It has made it easy, all right? So um, all I'm going to do is make sure that my closure at least sits in the middle. And then after that, I'm going to sew in one more bundle. And I'm going to see how much space we have because, of course, the closure is going to be getting somewhere close to here, okay? So I started off this bundle without folding it, without doubling the weft, all right? And what does that mean? So let's look at what the inside of the wig looks like, guys. So you want to start, you want to find out where your adjustable, you know, thing is the strap. Even though I'm going to add another, I'm going to add another strap when I'm done so that she can, you know, have it secure and adjustable as she wants it. So I start sewing above those straps, okay? I start without doubling, but of course, you're gonna be folding as you go, all right? Now, the folding part is the most important part because if you don't know how to fold well, the hair is gonna be bumpy, okay? So when you get to an edge, you wanna turn your weft like so, all right? Turn it, place your, you know, place one finger on it, and then sew on top of the turn, so that it flattens out then you keep going okay this is about 10 rows okay one the first line then one two three four so this is about nine rows so i started off straight and then i folded and i kept going okay so out of these nine rows i believe that the ones that i doubled will be the last two so this one and this one are doubled. Other than that, I started off with just one line each. 
one line of weft each that way the wig is not so heavy on the bottom and the weight of it spreads out to the middle okay so you want to have most of your weight on the middle so i was able to cover a long space with just that first bundle because i didn't double it in the beginning another thing i wanted you to note if you want your wefts longer you want to put the longest length at the bottom so this is 20 inches on there this is 18 inches next okay and this is 16 inches I, I believe the closure is 14 inches so guys um now that i'm done putting this i'm gonna go ahead and sew in my closure i probably will come back and do a life when i'm done sewing in the closure then um i'll finish up the wig before i show you again but after sewing the closure it's probably gonna get like so you want to double the rest of the next bundle make sure that you double the the rest of the next bundle if not you're not gonna be able to fit it all in so once i'm done sewing in the second bundle then i see how much space i have left to put in the third bundle but for the third bundle i'm gonna be sewing in only one line i'm also not gonna double the weft so that is it from me have a wonderful day guys and i'll be back soon Morala, Mexicana.